So when I was in college, I had a mentor named Tim. Uh, we were only together for a very short amount of time while I was wrapping up things that semester and right before I got married to my wife. And, uh, but he had a profound impact, something I've carried with me uh, for a very, very long time. Uh, Tim and uh, myself and some other guys were all together in an accountability group. And uh, Tim was just taking us through the scripture and asking questions. His job was to be kind of a college campus minister. And I forget what organization uh, he was with. This was before Facebook, and so I'm not even connected with Tim anymore. But uh, he was a great guy. And, you know, we'd get together as guys, and we'd read scripture, and I'd just read the scripture and be like, oh, man, that's amazing. And I'd share a story for my life. And you got to understand something about missionary kids uh, like myself is uh, we grew up hearing stories and living amazing stories and being asked to share those stories all the time. And sometimes it gets into a habit where we just share stories and, and, and not listen to other people's stories. And that can be a bad thing. And uh, one day, it was a Sunday, uh, Tim was leading our Sunday school class that we had in our church. And at the end of the class, he, he pulled me aside and said, Paul, can I talk to you? I was like, sure. And so he, we went outside together and he says, Paul, um, you know, I've really enjoyed having you as part of our uh, Bible study and things like that. And, and you've got some amazing stories to tell and your understanding of the word is, is really awesome. Uh, but uh, I just want to let you know that you're sharing so many stories that the guys are starting to tune you out. I mean, you, you haven't seen them do it, but uh, they'll, you'll start into a story and it'll be a great story, but you'll start in, and the moment you start the story, they kind of roll their eyes, and they're like, oh, here he goes again, and you tell this long story, and, and it's good, don't get me wrong, but you've just shared so much, they're not listening to you anymore. And what I'd recommend is that you wait, and you think of the one story that you could offer during the entire study that would help bring something that no one else bought, brought to the table that you would actually listen to everyone else speak first and that you'd be one of the last ones to offer anything. Uh, that way, people will listen to what you have to say instead of hearing your voice so much they start to tune you out. And I think that's a great example of how sometimes mentors come in and they deal with stuff in your life that may not be overtly sinful, uh, but be something that if not checked could become a lifelong habit a way of communication that could hold you back. And leaders need to be heard. And if you're the kind of leader that speaks too much and people start to tune you out, then it's gonna be very, very difficult for you to get anything done. And, and Tim was great at pointing that out and helping me out. Now this is our last segment on mentoring. Uh, in next month, in October, we're moving and talking about engagement and how to create atmospheres to have uh, good conversations with people who haven't yet followed Jesus or haven't had a chance to discover who he is through reading the word. And so we'll be diving into that. And so I hope that uh, this series has been good. If you have any questions or want to know any more about mentoring, make sure and visit us at our website, ContagiousDiscipleMaking.com, or join us on Facebook. That's where a lot of this stuff gets posted at uh, Facebook.com slash ContagiousDiscipleMaking. Thank you. Thanks for listening. I appreciate it.